Hey, hello, and welcome to A Song of Horror. Um, I feel like I've heard of the game, but I don't know how I missed it coming out, because it's supposedly a fixed camera, old school uh, survival horror, kind of like, you know, the original Resident Evils and Silent Hills, which had a fixed camera angles. Well, Silent Hill kind of didn't, I guess. It had a lot of moving cameras because it was 3D, but... Yes, I don't know how I would have missed this coming out, but I do recognize the title. So I'm not sure. We'll see how good it is and how much they, um, what they do to, well, how much they pull off what I like about the original <laughs> uh, Resident Evil games and also whether they add anything new. Um, I'm not honestly bothered about the fixed camera thing. I don't think that's what I like. I think it's like, kind of like superficial side of, of those games. I think what was good was um, the exploration, the, the, the sort of openness of the game, that you would find a key and it would unlock three doors and you can choose what order you want to go things in. It's kind of forward thinking. You have to you know, know where, how much health you have, how much ammo you have, what kind of things you can deal with, whether you should fight, whether you should run, uh, working out what order to go through the world in and uh, how to sort of be efficient and survive, basically. That's kind of what I like about those games. They're they're like point-and-click adventures, but with um, enemies and ammo and health. And so if this game's like that, I'm going to be very happy. So uh, I, I love that stuff, and they're really not made anymore like that. Um, but like uh, a lot of genres that fall fallen by the wayside, when someone comes to pick it up, they don't have all the experience and stuff <laughs> that they would have had if people had kept making those games, you know, and there's a lot of to compare it to. Um, so often I think, like RTS as well has that problem. New RTS games come out and they're not as good because there's not other, there's not a lot of competition, there's not a lot of like continued experience developing them because people stopped for a while. <laughs> there weren't as, you know, or at least there weren't as many by, uh, prominent developers so yeah hopefully this runs well uh, I'm gonna have to check the recorder a bit just to see because I've changed some settings but let's try the new game prelude a Friday like any other I'm what using my 360 controller for my little something Adelaide no, is that what it says? A I Well we know spooky shit's going down. <laughs> Supposedly this is uh, Lovecraftian. No up the volume for me a bit. Lovecraftian, so which I've never read any Lovecraft, so frankly that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Shit, he knew exactly what was going on. Could you hear the music? When people say that, it usually just seems to mean tentacles, which... Uh, you know, I, I, I bet if I read the books, there'd be a lot more... Uh, different sort of... things that that could mean, but... Hey... Is it me? Well, it's Daniel. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Ooh. That's like... Weirdly not responsive. Sounds like... It feels like, um... Incredibly sluggish. Let me try the con... Keyboard. I'll go with this. Let's bring back some really good memories. Oh, I thought it was going to be looking at the lamp, uh, the lamp post, the lamp. My old flashlight saved me more than once in great outdoors. Can I pick it up? Guess let's leave the light on. One thing I don't like, though, 
is that this isn't using tank controls. And people, unfortunately journalists, I think drove that sort of oh, tank controls. But the problem is, is it actually works really well when you've got fixed cameras. Because these cameras change angle constantly. And so what you want is controls that are relative to the player, not the screen. <laughs> because the screen angle changes. So like, I'm pressing down right now and he's moving towards the screen. But I'm pressing down and now he's walking away from the screen. And I find that really weird. It'd be better if I was pressing forward and that's my character went forward relative to him. Um... But my videotape collection, I've got quite a few westerns and cop movies. Uh, I plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. What a douchebag. <laughs> I can't wait to see the next X-Files. X-Files with no dash. What's the run button, actually? A? No. Hmm, don't know. I can't run yet. I should sell that whole thing. Once and for all. What bikes? What's wrong with the bike? Not the greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the spot. How long has that been there? Where did you come from? <laughs> Damn, I closed the curtains again. I'll end up killing this poor plant. Yeah, you keep forgetting and closing the curtain. It's not even near the window anyway, so... No! No! Oh god, I'm doing... I can't catch that. Oh, is it the door handle though? No, it's not, is it? Why can't I catch stuff? Shit, I should I could have sworn I took out the trash. Yeah. See facing stuff is a bit weird. Damn, I closed the curtains again. I'll end up killing this put oh, I read that already. <laughs> <laughs> Some leftover coffee, not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Whoa, is he saying that he does hard drugs? Squeaky clean, just like it should be. Sarcastic as well. I'm not really hungry, plus I didn't get any groceries this week. What a... like, who is this guy? Listens to jazz, and yet his life is falling apart. Alright, I guess that's all that's in here, right? Let us see... What? And my, and my point with that as well is that, like, I'm kind of joking, obviously, because oh, people can listen to jazz, Seriously? but... It seems like he's got enough money. <laughs> this apartment probably costs a lot, and yet he's still got not got his life together, which is... a bit inexcusable. Hello? Daniel. Hello? Hey, Got a bit of a major emergency going Etienne. on. Etienne. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday, or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself. But I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. No. Write this down. <laughs> For Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway Abbott e Thomas Road. EB15. Good God, that's out in the sticks. I thought uh, I'd take a few days off after Bloody this. hell. We'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. No. I'll up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my... <laughs> His accent's ridiculous. It sounds a bit odd, though. Off, Again, like... Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Though I mustn't overstretch my complaints. 
Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. Yeah, especially with that kind of accent. Only things is going a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Well, you wouldn't have been married to yourself if you were in her place. You would have married to lawyer, your husband. <laughs> Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake publishes employee by day, Wake publishes screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husha, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Yes, let's, let's. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to look at the rest of the room because I picked up the phone to bloom in early. I thought it was going to let me uh, choose when to leave. The Husher Mansion is home to writer Sebastian P. Husher, his wife Catherine, their two children, Julia and Saul, and their housekeepers. Man, my, my classist um, <laughs> kind of uh, attitudes come up with this kind of stuff because I'm like... I don't know, there's something so like aloof about being in a writing and being poor and drunkard, but you're still you're working in fucking publishing. It's like that's such a privileged sort of <laughs> position. And I don't mean that in the modern sense, I just mean generally it's like people can only write if they're not starving to death, you know, it's it's I don't know, it's very lucky place to be. Why? Oh, what's it say? Oh, why take the side door? I think he said. Can I still not run? Ooh. Inventory. Badge of Perseverance. Exam. Hey, I looked, uh, I liked this in the original Resident Evil. Especially when they use it mechanically, like you examine stuff and do stuff. Solve puzzles, that's good. Let's see if they do that though. That's a nice, uh, Model. Badge of Perseverance. Three years sober. I'm happy for him. He's worked hard for this. If only things have been different. Sophie. Right, I don't really understand what that's got to do with this. Should you give it to him? X U. Okay. So that's. Okay, so right. Left bumper is inventory. Right bumper is. Uh. Document. And I guess I still can't run. Saunter. Yes, yeah, so let's saunter. Oh, look. A chair. A newspaper. That murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. Doors open. Suspicious. Hello? Hello? Is that music? <laughs> that what they call music? The poor people. Brought his flashlight. Clever girl. Light source. Each character has their own light source to turn it off. Hey, am I going to play multiple characters? Turn it off and on. Press RT. Slash pressing down the right uh, stick, which is a bit odd. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point with the right thing. Oh, I like that. Uh, very Alan Wake. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might be not be in front of your character. Oh, so I can like point to my sight and interact better. That's good. Your light source will never run out. Really? How generous. Is that someone playing a music box? The head devil is going on. Although that might be a bit confusing to like use it to point at items, especially because I have to take my thumb off the stick. They look like travel guides. The alarm seems disabled. Much better if it goes off. I've got of explaining to do. Hey, changed hands with this thing. Um, much better since I stopped drinking. Maybe we should ask Sophie out. 
I thought she dumped you, like divorced you. That seems quite a. <laughs> that seems like quite the rejection. Now, not open the curtains. Can I take a piss? Apparently not. Right, hang on, let me just check the quality of my recording. Alright, we're back. Let's see. Oh, yeah. A grandfather clock. Clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. Or, it's a puzzle. That's a lot of clothes. Is there anyone home? No, that's not. Okay, I guess I can't go in there yet. Was the bathroom where the music was going from? Those paintings are depressing. I'd never put them up in my place. What are they, though? Strange figures, a row of trees, I guess. Usher sure is in a lot of these framed pictures. The rest must be family, I guess. Yeah. That's weird. What are all these suitcases doing here? I mean, I might be leaving. Did he go missing after he slammed close that? That music box. A chessboard really suits the highbrow feel of this house. What a beauty! You must sound like an angel. Possibly. Look at all those bottles and think they almost ruined my life. God, he's still going on about himself. Whoops. <gasps> you see, this is why it gets fucking weird. Like. I moved the controller. I readjusted to the screen change and then it went in the wrong direction. This plant is barely alive, if at all. When was the last time they watered it? I mean, you're one to talk, aren't you? History and art magazines. I've got nothing against them, but I bet they bore me to death. Really? You look like the type. Oh, I pressed that to enable torch. Not really dark, though. To be fair. is the wrong direction for the music. A respectable amount of books. wonder who this is. History. Wait, what? History. History fiction. Historical fiction. I mean, fun to read, although I prefer the newspaper. Camera. Rather, a fake camera. If I break that, my grandsons will finish paying it off. A fake camera. Why would they have a fake camera? Mostly noir and police thrillers, now these I like. Grammar and reference books. I guess these come in handy with Husher with Husher's writing. Books, books and more books. You don't need to add that as a description to be fair. Japanese swords, anything from that country is popular now, thanks to those stupid cartoons. <laughs> what year are we in though? It felt like we we're in like the twenties or something. Although not with that phone, I guess. But it does not feel like the modern era. And not with his jacket, I suppose. <laughs> it doesn't look like a man from the twenties, but it doesn't really feel like the modern era. It looks like this drawer is slammed is jammed shut, sorry. Hmm. It's not really shut though, is it? But it might be jammed. So I need something to open that. Man, this guy is even messier than I am. Ha, what a cock. Why can't they run? This is really frustrating. <laughs> I want that to unlock. Need to unlock the D ability to run. Music through here. Didn't change at all. Decorative. Oh yeah, letter. Decorative fruit, the expensive porcelain kind. Books and plates in the same cabinet, not much order there. <laughs> Family portraits, I guess they look uh, old. I guess they look old. <laughs> I guess they look old. Man, that mirror is dirty. Filthy mirror. Absolutely filthy. Wait, what's in the middle? Can I... Can I 
examine that little thing in the middle. I guess I can't. From that position, anyway. That is an old letter. Documents and items! You have found an examinable item. Expect it to gain information by pressing A. To examine the back, use R. Uh, to access your inventory and collect documents, press LB. Okay. I can also rotate this. I have to actually read it on the paper or A hey, read. There we go. Dear Sebastian, dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favour of you. Close with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store, an ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. <laughs> Maybe it's the tentacles coming out of it. Or perhaps I should say ear, the melody, Sebastian, it's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I've never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score or the name or composer have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that bloody melody out of me head. Right then. First letter first letter from Isaac Farber. How do I know it's the first letter? Interesting. Interesting. Those door animations feel like Resident Evil Outbreak because <laughs> they're quite stiff. Um, although I guess the remake, the remake was like that too. They're all covered in dust. This place hasn't been cleaned in days. A matchbox. Can't think of any reason to burn the house down yet. Okay, we're out here again. What's in here? Is it the same room? Ah. Okay, so we've got a little house. Oh god, a cutscene. <laughs> Mouth animations are not the best. Wow, this guy likes to hunt. Sophie would have a fit if she saw this. Radio looks to be older than me. Are those rifles? Really? The music. The horror music. There's stuff lying all over the place. It reminds me of my college dorm. Another fake camera? Is that, it looks the same as the other one. <laughs> There's a classical music album on the record player. Where's the box? Oh, did he? Oh. Must be the door with the black shit around it. evil black stuff. The piercing, man. Sure. I thought they weren't going to do it then. I thought they were going to be clever and be like, oh, it's not going to close. <laughs> it's only going to close a little bit. Hardly taken a step forward. When I heard the door close, close behind me. Oh. What the hell? And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. Nice. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The really? candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. What? And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once there was nobody there just hallucinations nightmares black nothingness and the song from that music box 
trapped in this impossible place. I wondered if I was going to die there. Okay, that's past tense, so he's not trapped anymore. Uh, it's a bit unsatisfying that, because I was a bit like, well, what did he find down there? <laughs> like, it never really... Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so, and if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on oh, him. too lowly for him. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah, I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, <laughs> I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. I hope that we just play like a sequence of characters that do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> and everyone gets trapped in the same room. That would be funny. Like 10 different characters. Wait a minute, what is this? Wait, what? This is a very bizarre place to have a character selection, but also pretty cool because you like um, that as a potential mechanic. If there's like intermingling narratives, whether you can affect one of the stories and stuff, there probably isn't because that's never done. But okay. Well, I feel like we have to play her, don't we? Because I don't know who anyone else is. Let me just read first, let me read. Uh, Sophie Van Denend, age 40, light source, candle. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end, an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Oh, it's Sophie. Sophie, Sophie. Uh, who runs a well-known art gallery uh, is now Sophie who runs a well-known art gallery is now enjoying the ever elusive prosperity she has always longed for she's very fast she's very stealthy she's moderately strong and she's very serenity <laughs> I guess that means there's like a madness thing whenever I light one everything around my me feels safer and more peaceful scented candles three does that mean you start with three maybe uh, Etienne, Etienne, Bertrand. Who are these people? What was with these names? Age 45. Etienne is a confident, self made man and is sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. What's the difference in stats? Not huge. So he's also fast, he's not as stealthy, he's stronger, he's pretty serene too. Writing down anything important is the secret to remembering. Adieu. Who are these people though? That's kind of weird. Alexander Laskin, Alexander and his wife Masha, Masha, are housekeepers at writer Sebastian Husher's mansion. Watching over the author's children is one of the many household duties. The Russian couple of Christian faith moved to Europe in the early 80s and attempt to flee from mysterious past that Alexander rarely if ever speaks about. Who wants to say if that has something to do with the story? Take a good swig from the flask to soothe your nerves when danger lurks. Always worked for me. But he's not very serene, so I guess it doesn't really work very well. Alina Ramos. Alina is a passionate, hands-down type of learner. Always eager to get her hands dirty at work. Happy and energetic, she's travelled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both. Now working as an electrical technician at Monolith Security, Alina is part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems for exclusive clients. 
damn, we haven't got anyone who's slow yet. They all have pretty high stats. If it doesn't work well, uh, it doesn't work very well. It picks up a lot of weird interference. Hey, is that Silent Hill? With the uh, walkie-talkie. Who the hell is she though? What's she got to do with any of it? Let's just play Sophie. We have to, right? For the first playthrough. It's been three days since Daniel entered the Husher Mansion. No one has heard from him since. This reminds me a lot of um, Alone in the Dark, a new nightmare. Um, which is a game I've never completed, <laughs> but I do have it. And I guess the story never grabbed me because it is this kind of like aloof sort of fantasy thing, which I'm not hugely into, but um, it does have a couple of characters that you get to pick at the beginning of the game, which obviously Resident Evil did have too in the first game and the second game, but uh, I don't know, just the way this happened, it sort of reminded me of that, I guess. Oh, so I can't shine a torch. Yeah, that's that's interesting. A tricycle is wet and beginning to rust. Must have been here for days, if not months, <laughs> if not years. Like, things don't rust instantaneously, do they? Totally jammed. Probably go in the front door. Still can't run. Really? Can't run at all? Oh, no, 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 no. So the stairs are a bit weird. You can't walk left and right on stairs. A newspaper that's been through a storm. You can hardly read a word. Was that tricycle there before? <laughs> I don't remember now. One, the Husher Mansion. The door was open. Is there anybody home? A burglar alarm, how modern. Moats with crocodiles would be more fitting for this house. Hey, I like her attitude. Wait a minute, someone's had a shower. But I can't go in. No shower scene? No creepy shower scene? There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Hmm. Has he like lived here for a while or something? Maybe someone knows that he's like trapped. Coats hung up, somebody must be home then. Well, they, were, they weren't last time, as far as we knew. Hey, we can go in here now, that's cool. Tears in the Wind by Liam Edelman. It's lovely, melancholy, and has macabre touches. God, I've started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. Why can't I look at that? Really? There's nothing to interact with there, but there is that dot. That's strange. Oh man, there's so many doors. Choice. In before they're all locked. And we're in Silent Hill. None of the doors open. Oh. Can I look at that? An old bicycle. A tad broken down, but it's still pretty. I had to actually look up to interact, so I guess I need to look down to look at that suitcase. I love motorcycles, but I've never mustered the courage to drive one, especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. Boiler function, upper panel, shut down, press the left button, start, press the central button, emptying, press the right button. Case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. I could have pressed A to just get a text version, I think. Here's the boiler. I received, it is received no electricity. Okay. Do I need hot water? Oh, metal box. A rusty old metal box. Can I open it? Fuses. Screwed shut. Bloody hell, it's screwed down. But there's no screwdriver here, is that what you're telling me? A disorderly pile of tools, but no flathead screwdriver. I see. Can I not run? Like, can I actually not run? Because I really want to run. I really want to run. Want to run free? Mm -mm. Ah, it's locked from the inside. Mm -mm. I need a key to open it. 
I like it. I like to see the keys, starting to see the locks. <sighs> Oopsie daisy. Don't set it on fire, I was just meaning to look at it. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau. bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. You need to talk to them about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. Oh, is it key? Key to the box, maybe? Do they kids open it? This clock is turn of the century, just lovely though. Time isn't set properly. Books in the foyer. Bloody hell. How rude. All photos of family trips and such. Pile of suitcases seems a bit much, even for a long journey, but I don't think they're moving either. Can I turn on the light? Death Marches by Carla Shlomo. It was inspired by the prisoner transfers, which took place in World War II. I wouldn't put it up in my home. Which one? The one I can't look at there, I guess? Hmm, not sure. Very dark. Been years since I've seen one of these telephones. We sold my parents' old house. Novels written by Husher. I don't consider myself a fan, but I admit his books are addictive. Wait, what? <laughs> I hate them, but I read them. I've never understood why people have to murder defenseless animals for sport. There is soot all over, but perhaps I could get it to light somehow. It says, what's the cog? I guess that means I need, I need an item. Old metal box and scented candles. Oh, they make her serene. They're not the one she's using. Like a madness thing? History magazines, I usually subscribe to some of those. <laughs> like always seeing the character differences. A wilted plant sometimes happens to mine when I have a lot going on in my life, something like that. I don't know, I didn't finish reading it. Ugh. What's that box though? Can't I look at that? That looks interesting. Oh, is it an old radio though? One of those? I'm not sure what that is. Oops. <laughs> Nothing there. Sorry for walking you into the wall, I just can't see. <laughs> Seeing so many bottles in one place reminds me of Daniel. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> An upright piano, I played one just like a girl. Hmm. Oh, I can play. I should take up the piano again sometime. I mean, maybe not if that's the, f the first sound you make. Frankly. Is it going to be like a Resident Evil thing where one character can play piano, the other one can't? Good music with good wine. Another you know, actually, oh fuck, maybe that's why there's different characters because they can they know different things, have access to different things. That would be very very cool. Drawing by Saul, budding artist. Gameplay. <laughs> uh, Daniel. Oh shit.